There's one thing that you can be sure about without a guaranteed water source for your plants in the garden, it's not going to look good. Now, I use a particular strategy. It's very effective. It's a diversity supply strategy. Let me show you how it works. For instance, I have a bore on my property and we use this as a primary source of water for the gardens. Now, groundwater is a finite resource, so you have to be cautious with how much you use. Rainwater is an incredibly important resource and we should capture every drop that falls on any of our roofs. However, too much of it is sent down our drain pipes and off into stormwater, makes it into river systems, it's wasted. But if you are going to capture rainwater, use it inside the house. The science says it's a lot better to use it for washing machines, dishwashers and flushing toilets. And that way you can always recycle it later on. Recycled water is fabulous for a garden. This is generally grey water or black water, and both are treated water sources that take all the liquids from your home and run them through a treatment process before redistributing the treated water into your gardens. Of course, scheme water, or town water as it's sometimes referred to, that's water that comes from the tap, is always going to be the best source. But because of its treatment levels, it will cost more. But typically, a garden watered with this water should only be watered twice a week and deliver about 10 millimetres of water to the soil around the drip zone of the canopy of the plants each time. And if you've got a large swimming pool like this, well, make sure you're using it when it comes to fire protection. If you live in a fire zone, grab yourself a separate pump that's diesel or petrol generated and pump the water from here up onto your roof. Block your gutters, Fill them up, make sure that the house's roof is wet down and that'll protect you from ember attack. <laughs>